Now, the international community was tasked with reducing carbon emissions at the Paris Climate Summit in November. Korea, for one, aims to reduce emissions by 37% by the year 2030. It adopted an emission trading programme one year ago. And now Kim Min-ji takes a look at whether it's going to help Korea achieve that goal. Korea's emission trading scheme got off to a sluggish start. After a year of the system being adopted, the trading volume came to a mere 4.4 million tons. To give that figure some context, it makes up less than 1% of Korea's emissions cap for 2015, or some 540 million tons. It's a really beginning stage. It's a very hard to tell right now because the uh, emission trading system is a very, very new market mechanism in Korea. Maybe adjusting period should be required, probably may maybe within three years. So how does the system work? The scheme gives companies an allowance, and if they surpass the cap, they can buy credits from others. If they don't hit the cap, they can sell leftover credits. The market-based policy is currently being implemented in 34 countries worldwide, including EU members and New Zealand. In Korea, 525 companies, including Samsung Electronics and POSCO, are taking part, with one ton traded at around 10 U.S. dollars. Come June, the first evaluation period will take place and will provide a glimpse into whether the system is working or not. But some experts say structural changes are needed if Korea really wants to reduce emissions down the line. The cheap trading price is diverting companies from reducing carbon emissions as it's more profitable to buy credit rather than sell. Another downside is cheap energy prices in Korea. Due to the cheap prices of energy sources in Korea, such as fossil fuels or electricity, companies find no reason to invest in renewable energy sources. Korea has pledged to cut carbon emissions by 37 percent by 2030. While it may not be an easy task, experts say Korea is far behind global standards. They say local companies should not think of reducing carbon emissions as a burden, but as new business opportunities and a benefit for the economy as a whole. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.